Welcome to Wine Time. I'm Rachel. And I'm Heather. Where two moms will pour a drink, espresso, wine, cocktail, who knows, and tell you stories or complain about moms. You will get the good, inspirational, uplifting, encouraging, the badass, we all know a badass mom, and the crimes, moms who have committed them and or survived them. This is Wine Wine Time. Time. The good, the badass, and and the the crime. Welcome to, wait, wait, Boots and Cats and Boots and Cats. Boots and Cats and Wine and Time and Wine and Time and Wine and Time. (laughs) We are annoying. Why are you guys here? (laughs) Okay. I know why Why you're here because we bring epic, awesome, the best content ever. Just amazing. It is the best. I'm Um, so, so, so excited about what we have to bring today. It is. It is. So exciting. It is the best. And I've been, I've been like creeping. No. <laughs> you legit sent I have this been, to me. It's so funny because yeah. you legit sent this to me. Forever. It had Forever. to have been like five, six months ago. Like that you first were like, we should ask her to be on the podcast because she's amazing. <laughs> so when I like something, I like something. And it's funny because I don't always like things. I don't always find something awesome or cool or whatever and the person that you guys today is an interview today is an awesome episode you guys are gonna love every single second of this but I I did I totally stalked her and I was just like you're coming on to one time (laughs) (laughs) whether you want to or not um and having that time with her I mean only solidified what I had already felt inside she is such a just kind of like vibrant but very she just makes you feel good oh yeah and energy is awesome energy (laughs) energy is awesome and she is going to be talking about her products her store what she sells that kind of stuff you guys are going to get into that you will see and as you do that you will see that I feel like in, in these businesses your how you use that word energy is intertwined with your business, with your product. And that is yes. why it is so good. And that is why it took off. And that is why it's doing what it is doing because she worked for it. She mm-hmm. knew it. She wanted it. She said, I'm going to take it. I'm going to have it. It's going to be mine. And it's beautiful. I love that. A bad and that ass is mom right there. Badass. Badass. Putting all of her badass. Yes. Awesome energy and vibes into her her product and her just like her I feel like not even just like her product just like the way she's living her life she's like this is badass positive non-toxic vibe yeah that's what it is I love it so much it's great it's great you guys are going to be equally as obsessed in about two minutes so you're welcome for everything we do for you (laughs) we know we know you love us. Bring you the best, as <laughs> always, know. here at one um, time. So but enjoy it's it. exciting. <laughs> so take all of this in. Go check her out. Here it is right now. So right now, without further ado, here she is. This is Evie has decided. So Evie's my three-year-old. Yeah. And she has decided to start, like, skipping her naps. And so by, like, five, she's absolutely losing it. And so I'm like, let's go. Done. Start the clock. <laughs> we get like, I give up. <laughs> like, I give up. That is so funny. Um, okay, so first of all, thank you for being here. Yes. I am so excited. I have been telling Heather, like, I want to say I saw you on TikTok, like, forever ago. And then... Yeah. I don't even remember, honestly, I don't remember adding you on Instagram, but then seeing you there too, I was just like, I'm in love with, with, (laughs) and it all started for me with like your breast milk soap. Yeah. And I saw that and I was like, that is the coolest fucking thing. Sorry. That's gonna, I cuss, whatever, here we are. But I'm like, that is the coolest thing ever. And I wish more than anything, like I would have seen something like that or known of something like that when I was breastfeeding. My daughter's seven, long gone, never happening again in my life. 
but I wish I would have. So now I'm like, I want people to know about this. This is awesome. So I was excited. Um, but I will say, so I'm Rachel. That's Heather over there. I don't know the camera. Taylor. (laughs) Taylor. Hello. Um, I just, I know when I had asked you, do you want to see all the questions? Do you just want to do it as it goes? I (laughs) I don't know, like 10 ish questions or whatever. And Okay, we'll just cool. go through it. So however Perfect. fast you do it, I don't know your time frame, but it's okay. cool that you're there and not yeah. having to have the babies with you. So I know, I know. I'm like, I'm so glad I got away from him. I'm like, cool, I can drink one of these beers. I can oh, hang yeah. out. Yes. 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 So she you would take however long. <laughs> yeah. She wrote in the in the Instagram Heather and was like, Oh, baby daddy came through and I am at the shop, so we are ready. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I was like, that's what it is about. I know. I handed I off that. my one year old to my husband now. I'm like, You're putting her down. I'm gonna go do my thing. I helped you with the yeah. three year olds. You got the one year olds. <laughs> Let's do it. You're done. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm done. Yeah. You clocked out for the night. For yeah. real. <laughs> Luckily, mine's seven and eight thirty is her bedtime and she is the best sleeper ever so as soon as 8 30 hits the clock I mean she'll fall asleep at 7 45 this kid <laughs> I'm like thank the lord that you are so good at bedtime but she's she's been out so I was like yes <laughs> I'm thankful for it um but we could just get right into it again okay. I'm so excited this is exciting um Actually, before we start, have you have you been on like podcasts and like promoted that way and so, stuff before? I've been on one podcast locally, and then like on Friday, I actually did. I was like shooting for six hours with sixty second docs. Have you guys heard of them? No, no I have not. That um, sounds they're like cool, on, though. They're based in California. Um, they have like two point two million followers on tiktok and they are like oh on gosh. every platform like yeah. they actually sent like a producer or like a cameraman in here with like the real equipment yeah. and so we yes. did that for like six hours on friday and now i'm doing the podcast t- with you guys tonight i'm like yeah. i feel like a celebrity this <laughs> is the yeah. best <laughs> this is amazing that is so exciting we do not have 2.2 million followers but we have yeah. we have some Listen. loyal people Listen. and it's exciting yeah. but I i'm mean, like that I, is yeah that is exciting that is Freaking awesome. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. We're doing this. And the fact that you said you're having a beer, we're just going to start with you. What are you drinking? What beer is it? I want to know. It's actually Ace Pear. This is like the only thing yes. I Oh, I love that. Okay. Love you know, that. Do you know yes. it? Oh, my yes. God. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like my soul. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, like, I swear, I Rachel, to... there was like a whole summer where I feel like that's all we drank, right? That is like, what we drank. That... And when we went to Yard House the last time, they didn't that's have right. Ace, but I had the other pineapple one. That's and right. I was just like, oh, that one's good too. What's yeah. up? Not as good as the pear, but. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Uh, I'm like, it was good though. That's exciting. Dang, now I want that. I was gonna I say that's had that so good. Since that I moved. So good. I have not had that since I moved, that's for sure. That's crazy. Oh, that's exciting. Heather, what you got? What you got I, over there? I'm being very boring, honestly, because oh, I didn't have God. time to like grab anything. I just have my water. But oh, I promise something. after this I will <laughs> pop a top of we still have some I'm gonna be totally, you know white girl with it and I'm just gonna I'm gonna have myself a white claw when this <laughs> I have to go grab Why it when it's over just go grab it what are you even waiting for let me just call that <laughs> what are you just talking about I'm gonna text him right now can you bring your wife a fucking grab white claw right now because what Heather. are you doing <laughs> I, I am drinking. like was like singing good night. I'm like, okay, okay, twinkle, twinkle, little star, good night. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> really. So fast. So I legit didn't even have time. <laughs> that is funny. I have wine, and this is actually we recorded this morning, and we I'll, I'll tell you about it. But we do true crime as well, and so we recorded mm-hmm. this morning, and I needed, I needed yeah. an entire bottle of wine. So yeah. I finished that that bottle of wine and then I went and I got more so now this is bottle number two but that, here we are <laughs> it, it is makes you really want to try good. that wine Rachel it's no joke yeah it's it's pretty good I like it Pad. and obviously it's not very strong I mean we recorded at and this morning yeah so obvious that's forever ago but <laughs> that's exciting okay cheers cheers guys 
That is Cheers. exciting. Cheers. Thank you for being here, Taylor. Cheers. You guys are about to see an amazing company and product in person, and I'm excited. I am so excited for this. Okay, so I love to start interviews by saying, I'm not an interview person. I'm just whoever I am. So it's going to be great. And I mean, most of the time it ends up being awesome. And here we are. But it's really funny because I'm always, I will be 100% honest with you guys. I just put perfume on as if I was with you guys for some reason. I think I just feel in a car. <laughs> I just put perfume on and I walk to the computer and I, I smell good. So I feel good. I'm there like, you go. I feel good in this moment there right now. But it was so funny because I always feel some sort of way when we have someone on and it's exciting. It's amazing. But I'm always like up here when I should just stay here, whatever. But that is hilarious. That so did you. <laughs> That makes me feel better. Okay. I need to put you guys smaller. Um, so like I said earlier, for everyone listening, I found you, I've been following you on uh, TikTok. I have two different accounts. I have my Instagram one and then, or Instagram, my wine time one and then my personal one. Um, but your, your products are amazing. This is exciting. And I wanted to just open real quick with a quote on your your actual like page not your tiktok i don't know if it's on your tiktok but your like company page and heather i don't know if you saw this when you were looking but just on your little board the little like piece board that you put exactly together which one you're gonna um, talk about. yeah i was gonna say where you said <laughs> I, I like exactly my like soap it. like i like my people, like people. non-toxic <laughs> and instantly i was like i need you to be my person because here we are. <laughs> Uh, I, I like, have shirts in the store right now with that on it. That oh amazing. my gosh. Yeah. That's so, so I was perfect. like, as soon as I saw that, I said, okay, you can, you can be our people because <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> um, that I was like, I can't, first of all, I just feel like I can never stand people in general. <laughs> so yeah. if there's someone that ever like comes out and I'm like, I think I like that person. Then it's, it's just, <laughs> okay. So we will get into it. Um, can you just start by kind of telling us a little bit about yourself, like who you were before, like unrelated to your business right now, just who you are? Oh, okay. What, uh, like what? I don't know. Upbringing, <laughs> like what do you want to know? <laughs> where, like where you were born, how old oh, you are, okay. that kind of stuff. So, um, I was born in Jackson. Well, I wasn't born in Jackson, Ohio, but I grew up in Jackson, Ohio. Okay. which is like a super teeny tiny town, like in the middle of nowhere, Ohio. I think the population is like 6,000. Oh so God. it's like super small. So I just cool. moved back like three years ago when I was pregnant um, with my son. So I moved back from Atlanta. So like adjusting back to small town yes. life is like so yeah. crazy. So um, I'm 31. Oh. Uh, what else? I don't know. What do you guys want to know? <laughs> so you have you have two two babies, right? Well, two kids. Two babies. Yeah. Yeah. She uh, Mars is one. She's um, gonna be one actually in like the end of the week on the second. And then mm -hmm. Leo is three. And that's like Leo's exactly. <laughs> that's like exactly yeah. my 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 oldest is three, and then my daughter <laughs> just turned one last week. Oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> Yeah. I wish I was there to celebrate with you. I know, <laughs> like, I know. Man. We'll celebrate when you come out. We'll be I know. Excited to see yeah. you. Both of Very you. soon. Two weeks I'll be there. So we're both, well, L.A. County, not small town. Yeah. We're all Los yeah. Angeles, yeah. California. And yeah. um, I'm not there anymore. Now I'm in Kentucky, but she's still out there. Okay, so we're kind which of I, close. I get to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's so different, though. Like, and And I'm not anywhere near – as small town as you but just the difference between the two is still like, yeah surreal and and you know because from Atlanta to to there like yeah. that's, it's it's wild the difference yeah. but I love it I I'm loving it here and yeah. I'm also very excited to go home in two weeks <laughs> as much as I love it <laughs> so um I have you know you're a mom our podcast is we call it a mom cast 
And what we wanted to do was we wanted to bring just any kind of topic that we're obsessed with, which could be, you know, someone who is doing awesome things, business moms, single moms, stay at home moms to unfortunately missing moms, murdered moms, people who do crazy shit, that kind of stuff. We touch on anything kind of mom related. And so when I came across you, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to reach out. If she's interested, she's interested. And, you know, with your business, business mom, hustling mom, creating a product for moms, Mm -hmm. I was just drawn into it. So that was exciting for me. Um, So I guess with that said, I just want to know, I guess this is weird, but like, when did you make your first ever soap? Like, where did that come from? Um, okay. So I was, it was during the pandemic. There wasn't really anything going on. I had just, um, well, I moved back. I didn't know what I was going to do when I moved back here. I was like pregnant. I had moved in with my mom. So I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to do in this little town. Yeah. So I finally had got my own apartment and was like working, um, like making pizzas pretty. I was like working fast food, doing pizzas. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Here. like really yeah. and then one day I was just like I'm gonna make some soap I guess and I just ordered it and then people bought it on Facebook and then they just kept buying it so I kept making it yeah <laughs> and it just kind of <laughs> went from there I started out like just me and Leo um I would like put him in his little carrier on my back he was like six yeah. months old and we'd like go to farmer's markets and we wow. would just like pull these soaps at farmer's markets and people just kept buying them so I just kept making them and finally right. um I made a TikTok and the TikTok is really what blew me off. But yeah. um <clears throat> uh my friend was like, Hey, will you make me some breast milk soap? Like using your breast milk and I was like, using my breast milk. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I was like whatever you want if you're gonna pay me. Like Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I did and I, when I did it, I put it on TikTok because I had already kind of had my TikTok account. I didn't have very many people, but that's what really blew me up. And once yeah. the TikTok blew up, I was like, Well, I'm gonna need a bigger place <laughs> than my apartment, like kitchen. So I got the store after that. Yeah. But that was kind of like what happened, how I got here, I guess. When was that? How long ago was the first soap compared to now? 2020. Well, you said, like so yeah, pandemic. I bought so. like my first stuff and I wasn't even doing yeah. like, there's like different types of soap. So I wasn't even do, like making my own soap. I was like doing melon for soap, which is just basically like a big chunk, like a big mm-hmm. block of soap that's already made and you just chop it up and add the fragrance and um, the color. So I wasn't actually like creating the soap by myself. And that's what I really wanted to do was like create and like choose the ingredients so I can make it like as natural as possible. Cause like, I'm like on the, like, let's not do any chemicals. Let's, yeah. you know, yeah. let's do other things. Like let's not use any more perfumes or like uh, detergents. So I like make all yeah. that weird stuff. And like, you know what I mean? Non-toxic. <laughs> like, yeah. Non-toxic. That's awesome. That's so awesome. It's so funny that you say that because I remember similarly, it was, um, you know, pandemic, I was home. And every time like, I would pull a breast milk bag out of the freezer, and maybe it had a crack, or maybe like, Evie didn't finish a full bottle or something. I'm like, what can I do with all this? And you see so many things. They're like, oh, you can, um, like, obviously, like, give your baby a breast milk bath. So, like, we definitely did that, like, saved it whenever she had diaper rashes, things like that. And then um, I saw, I saw, I was like, oh, you can make your own soap with, like, breast milk? That's so cool. And I looked into, like, buying the whole, like, you know, because you have to buy, like, all the things. And I'm like, oh, that's overwhelming for me. So (laughs) I, I was like, I don't want to do this, but, like, hearing like I that's it's so funny though it's very similar I'm like what am I gonna do like I'm just here it's the pandemic I'm at home all day with my baby like what is yeah what is going on so that's so crazy that's that's such a cool because there's so many people that you know went through the pandemic and like found like through this horrible thing that was happening like found something that really you know fueled their fire so it's so cool that you were able to do that 
I wish I found something that fueled my fire. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> you, it's like you didn't light a friggin' though, fire. Rachel, the job you were working was Fuck like not pandemicized, whatever you want to call it. It's very true. Yeah. I don't work yeah. anymore. We're, we're past that. We're moving on from that. So you, you had mentioned TikTok that kind of blew you up. So you were, you were in your kitchen, you got your store and I mean, you're making it in the beginning for kind of your, what social media presence, farmer's market, stuff like that. It's very small now. Awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now once online once tiktok which is like the thing sees you like and blows up how did that how did that feel or what did you do in that moment because you had your store and then it's like you have to make 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 ship 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 go 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 constantly right um well now it's like um it's not as overwhelming because i have an employee and it's not as like fast paced as you think but when i had like those videos going viral it was um it was has it been two summers ago or one summer ago now i think it was last summer was it last summer yeah because i got my store and i'm now my timeline's messed up but it it was one summer i don't know if it's last summer or the summer before that Mm -hmm. everything um, makes sense videos going viral at the same time and it was like 3.5 million and 2.5 million is what they ended up reaching and it was like so crazy and I was like wrapping all these orders by myself and I just took a picture of boxes and they was like literally stacked like this yeah. mm-hmm. and it was like hundreds of them and I was like this is so crazy um, that felt good but I'm like I don't know I feel like I really when I when I decided to leave Atlanta I was like I I'm like done with the crazy lifestyle. I'm going to go home. I'm going to like raise my kids and I'm going to manifest something like really cool and beautiful. Yeah. And like, I didn't know it was going to be so, but like <laughs> I knew something was going to happen. And like, I just held on to that belief. I was like, yeah, I'll go work the pizza place. I don't give a shit. Like I'm going to mm-hmm. do something. Like, something it's a stepping coming. stone. Yeah. That yeah, right there is like, a stepping I, stone. I always knew there was something like bigger coming. So like, everyone's like, are you, how did it feel? Did you feel? I was like, I felt like, yeah, this was what was supposed to happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah girl. You saying that Put word, it in like, there. Put it out. Right. I was like, what do you mean? I've been waiting for this. It has arrived. Yeah. Like, I wasn't surprised. I was like, yes, bitch. I, yeah. love that I made so it. Much. <laughs> and suddenly I'm like, hey, look, ma, I made it. <laughs> that word, that word, like, that like, word, that was so oh, big. Word. I was like, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah I love it. It's it that that's awesome. Like, freaking congrats on that. That is big. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. funny because <laughs> when you first said you had the boxes this high and of the orders and everything, I'm the person yeah. who would sit in front of those boxes in a ball, start shaking and crying and be like, "How am I supposed to do this? I don't know life," you know. So it's like the reason that. Maybe, I mean, I don't know if you were there, but it's like the, the fact that you didn't do that is why you, you know, kept climbing and that that's yeah. awesome. How exciting. Yeah. Um, very cool. So you have your storefront open. You said you have an employee now. Yep. Um, that, that's very cool. How is all of that going with being open and having that like out to the public and you know just owning a store like having an actual business business place rather than an online business um so when I got a store it was like I'm in a little area so I'm like the store was surprisingly cheap I had like drove by and went and I was like oh this is for rent I don't know if I'll be able to afford it but it was like super cheap so I was like no way and so yeah. I was like okay nice. let's get this store and then I'm yeah. like even if I don't get the foot traffic. I still have my online sales. So I was right. like, that could carry me. So I was like, I, I don't give a shit about the store. I was like, but it's cool. But right. it ended up being like, the store makes just as much money as my online now. And like nice. the community is so um, like amazing. They're so supportive. And like, they're really on this like small business. Yeah. Like for like shop local, like it's so much love like it, love it really that's really struck awesome. me and surprised me like how much support I got from this little town because I was not expecting it 
especially yeah. with like breast milk and here it's kind of like close-minded and now I'm like I'm pretty much probably everyone's like buying breast milk stuff yeah. <laughs> they're like what good <laughs> open their like, minds yeah, <laughs> love it there. open their minds <laughs> Heck that's yeah, awesome. that's what we need to do. We did a whole episode on feeding your baby. We had talking about breastfeeding versus talking about women who choose to formula feed. And, you yeah. know, we knew, like, we were like, oh, yeah, like, people will have something to say about this. One way or another, people will have something to say. And you do yeah, have so. those people who have something to say. But we got so many people being like, yes. I totally 100% feel you on that one and you do what you need to do. Like that wasn't my journey, but you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to support you. And for as many haters as there is out there, there's (laughs) so much support. So that's so great that you have that in your, in your community too. Yeah. It's funny because we had people writing in saying like, and this was after that episode, but writing in saying like, yeah, I wanted to say this, or I wanted to reach out about this, but I, they felt like, yeah, chund. I don't know the right word, yeah. but like they didn't want to say it at that moment because they didn't know if it was acceptable or if, if it was something that they wanted to put out into the universe and speak on it. And it's like, yeah. speak on it, speak on yeah. it. Yeah. And if someone doesn't like what you have to say, who cares? Yeah. Then don't speak on listen. what you feel or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I'm yeah. just like, whatever. So just move on with that (laughs) but I'm glad open their minds because that needs to happen um I don't know why my voice just cracked like a 13 year old boy just now but it's okay (laughs) I'll blame the wine um so I bought stuff from you the other day and it is really funny my daughter is seven and your stuff is adorable it is the cutest just little things ever okay so i think i I gave you a breast milk soap you sure did and i used it on my body i'm gonna get there i'm like give it (laughs) it all over this (laughs) i'm gonna use it yes you did thank you so she it was really funny though because i made a tiktok opening it and like whatever, uh, taking it all packages and she's watching me and she's like, mom, why you always have to have your phone out? Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, Ooh, what's that? And I'm like, back up. Now you want to (laughs) know. Oh, back up. Get out of here, little girl. So she's looking at it. And as soon as I opened, so I had done like some of the like winter clearance stuff. And one of them was the candy cane one. And she was just, she swiped it. And I'm like, yeah, what are you doing? That was a good one. I said, put my <laughs> soap down. <laughs> what are you doing? She's like, this is my soap now. And I was like, no, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> These are all mine. <laughs> um, yeah. But I did. I let her take that. And I, I asked her, I was like, so how'd you like that soap? Still in there using it every day. I typically, I usually use just the bottles or whatever. I have mm-hmm. been using the soaps that I got since I got them, I enjoy them. And I got the charcoal, like the charcoal face one too. And I'm constantly, I love it. So I'm happy with it. And yes, you added that breast milk. And I feel, (sighs) what is it called when like you have, like, you know what it is, right? So I, I knew what it was. So instantly I'm like, this is going to make everything better in my life because it is a <laughs> milk and that is liquid gold and everything's perfect now. So it's like, I already had that preconceived knowledge, like, you know what I mean? So it's like, I did that and I walked out of the bath like this, like, what's up? <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> so thank you for that. That is the feeling you get when you use these products. Go and do it. <laughs> that, is, that is what I'm going to tell you. You guys need that. <laughs> And we have a lot of people who are currently breastfeeding, so they are going to have to (laughs) get on that train. Um, Okay, so I bought products. I want you to just kind of like tell the listeners about your products, everything kind of like you offer, the different kind of variety of stuff that you have um, that they could kind of dive into. Um, So, yeah, like our main one is the breast milk soap, obviously. That's what we sell the most of all the time. Um, 
And like, I'm not allowed to say like that it cures anything or it does anything medically. Like I can't say right. that, but like the reviews I got from the soap, like people have said it has helped with their eczema. Um, it has helped with their acne. It's helped with, um, a lot of people use it on their babies, um, for like cradle cap or like mm-hmm. weird yeasty rashes and like, you know, all the weird things that babies get. Yeah. Um, so that's like my top seller. My second best seller is our tea tree and turmeric soap. And a lot of people use that for acne. Um, I love that soap. A lot of people don't like the smell of tea tree though. And I love it, but a lot of people I don't love tea like tree. the smell of tea tree. I was going to say, <laughs> I love tea tree. I would wonder about the turmeric because I'm the opposite. I don't know. Like I think food and I'm like, I don't want to <laughs> put food on my body. <laughs> Should I, I don't eat know. this I, soap? <laughs> Oh, it smells good for you. Yeah. Um, we have a tons of other stuff, though. We have a whole skincare line. We have toothpaste. We have natural deodorant. We have, um, let me think, what else do we have in here? We have lotion bars. I make cleaning sprays. Mm. Um, I have a whole men's line of stuff. Um, and we do have soaps with, like, fragrance oils in them, but the fragrance oil is, like, phthalate-free and doesn't have, like, the weird chemicals in it. And then we also offer, like, soaps with only essential oils. We offer, like, a lot of unscented soaps um, with different ingredients in them because a lot of our customers have, like, sensitive skin or, like, they mm-hmm. have, like, weird issues with the smells or, like, whatever. Right. You know what I mean? So we offer, like, a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, like, all of it. We have T-shirts. We do – We in, the, in store, we have, like, a lot of, um, like, local vendors who put their stuff in here. Um, that I don't necessarily sell online, but I have, like, local vendors in here, too. I mean, that's a good way to, to have it, too. That pretty much, yeah. I mean, yeah. if you have them in there, it, they're, I don't know if it's space fee or percentage for you, but it's, like, that helps pay for everything you're doing, too. So, yeah, do it. Do it. Um, <laughs> I already I already know certain things that I want to get as well already. Um, <laughs> back to my daughter, because all I do is talk about her all day. Yeah. Um, she went through your entire, she just scrolled TikTok. and scrolled. <laughs> no, not even TikTok. Your page, Instagram? like your business page. No, the actual oh, okay. shop. Looking at what you just click on that all products and she just went and she goes, I want that one and I want that one and I want that one and I want that one. <laughs> but they are. Oh, I love you guys, it. You have to know, not only are these things what she said where it's like, you know, good for you. It is not all that other added stuff that big pharma, whatever, you know, puts in their stuff. It's, it's stuff that's actually good for you and not going to harm your body, whatever. And he, so not only is it that, but it's the cutest stuff ever. It's so cute. <laughs> These things are I so cute. I love it. And it's so cute. I, she she is equally as obsessed, so she's like, Mom, we're going to need to get more soap. <laughs> Use that candy cane first, <laughs> and then we'll talk about that after, um, <laughs> which is which is awesome. Your, your breast milk soap. How, for people that are, like, looking into that or wondering about that, like, what would you say to them or, like, all of the positives – about the soap or bringing it to you, shipping it to you, just kind of promote that breast milk soap right now. Cause that was the number one thing that I was like, oh, I love you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you can get the breast milk soap in two different ways. You can buy it from us, which is just like the little square bars and they are actually from donor milk. So people actually have dropped off like over a hundred ounces or more and we make it here and anybody can buy a single bar. So, but we also oh, have awesome. where you can ship in your own breast milk and then you can get a whole loaf. I have one right here if you guys want to see it. Do you want me yes. to show Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, like, yes. <laughs> Exciting, you guys. Oh. Have to see this. So here is, like, what a loaf looks like. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Like, I still have to take it out of here and, like, cut it. This whole loaf is, like, a custom order. And then all the extra soap that we didn't, like, pipe on the top gets put into these little, like, dots. And then they'll get those as well. So, like, none of your milk gets wasted. And you get every single bit of soap, even if we it doesn't fit in this mold. So, hold on. I have the other ones, too. Let me show you what it looks like after. Yes. 
Show me everything. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a tour of your store. Okay. <laughs> I will. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. And here's like the soap after it's labeled. And it's like labeled with your baby's name. So this one says Lainley. Oh, that's so, so cute. Yeah. That is adorable. You get like so nine of So how much breast milk do you need? 18 ounces. But you don't have to, if you're like a, <clears throat> if you don't make um that much breast milk or you have like a low supply, you can use like milk that you got in a bottle and didn't use and save that right. away or like something. You know what I'm saying? Like the extra right. that you can't really give to your baby, you can save that up and use that. Um, and also like if you don't have 18 ounces, we can make up the uh stuff that you don't have with like coconut milk or water and you'll still get the breast milk benefits it's good i mean do that do that i heard (laughs) i heard on the our podcast (laughs) in that episode heather i think it was you that had brought up one of the statistics that you can actually like what was it like train your body or however to like start breastfeeding again like years after oh yeah Diane talked about that thing. yeah relaxation I'm gonna start it's breastfeeding just so I can do so, this yeah so we um so I have a friend who decided you know she was like I don't want to she's like it's a lot and I was like I agree it's a lot I breastfed both my babies and like I will tell you it's a freaking right. lot so she had decided you know from kind of jump she's like I, I just really I'm I'm yeah. don't want to put my body through it got it she's like but then she goes I after shortly after her son was born she was like I wonder if I could get it like back because she dried everything up and then she's like I wonder if I could get it back and I told her I was like no it's possible it's called relaxation because me you know those late night nursing sessions those late night pumping sessions I was constantly scrolling through different like lactation consultant stuff like different ways to up your supply da 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 and I told her I was like yeah relaxation is possible it is possible you could totally do it (laughs) I'm a little past you that would take Even a long people time who have never breastfed before can like you can start it and yep. make milk that's what i heard yep. yeah yeah that's because your your body is wild yep. as a mother your body is as a woman yeah. <laughs> your body is amazing amazing um, thing that is it, it really <laughs> is um I'm trying to like look at my notes since we had totally I had like all just this really stuff but we're just about that it's so funny because um, literally today I was wearing my fuzzy socks that my wonderful mother-in-law gave me that on you know like the their socks that on the bottom of them so if your feet are up people can read them and it says they it was like a whole cute like mom to be package and it says I make milk what's your superpower yeah <laughs> so I was like yeah <laughs> You, you're like the sock queen anyways. Like you, I, I remember going to like Universal <laughs> Studios thinking I need to get Heather a pair of socks. socks. Um, okay. <laughs> Not about you, Heather. Chill out okay, right sorry. now. Okay. My thank bad. you. So <laughs> <laughs> business wise. So you started this, you're here, you're a mom. So it's yeah. like, that is like a huge deal <clears throat> because not only did you start making soap and create soap and make soup. So you did it as a mother with a child strapped to your body doing that, you know, and working your ass off for this small business that you created. So, I mean, obviously Mm -hmm. you've already like said how it became kind of what it is now, but how are you feeling with all of it? Like where, where's your head right now with everything and kind of like looking towards the future like what comes next from where you are right now I don't know what comes next but like I don't know I just keep doing all these really cool interviews so I'm like something cool has to be coming from this I don't know we're manifesting we're manifesting yes you're like what comes next is someone comes to me and tells me we're gonna hire you to do all of this and yeah you I'm like, I don't know what what happens next from here, but I mean, a bitch on like a huge scale, like if I'm thinking like the at the tippy top of like where I want to be, I would want to like buy a whole recycling company and then make all my bottles out of recycled stuff and make it a whole thing and like up my production and like be 
worldwide. Like that's me at the tippy top, but we'll see yeah. how, where it goes. I'm like, manif- it's mana it's out I was there. Say, you're gonna get there. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. We're manifesting which means it. <laughs> you're gonna get there. That is what yeah. my body does. It tells you <laughs> what yeah. is about to happen for you. No, that is that is awesome. And just like you I mean, you you saw this for yourself. Yeah. You knew that something was gonna happen for yourself and yeah. that it was only a matter of time. Yeah. So this is also only a matter of time. Yeah. And you just gotta speak it into existence and just keep <laughs> keep it going. And I'm here to share it and be like, you guys go check no. it out. <laughs> um so what I mean, is there anything else about your company, about your business, about what you do, about the soaps that you would like to share if anyone wants to check you out? Um, I mean, they can check us out either on my website, which is like leojudesoapco.com, and we have a bunch of stuff on there if they want to read through of like our mission, which is pretty much um, to like not hurt animals, not hurt the planet, be as natural as possible, and be like good for you. Like that's right. like the whole basis of our like brand. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you can check us out on pretty much any social media platform. TikTok is our biggest one. Um, but we do a lot of stuff on Facebook and, um, mostly Facebook. I'm pretty bad with Instagram. (laughs) 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 That's what I slack on, but the other ones I'm okay. Which is funny. I don't have you on Facebook. I'm gonna have to add you there too. Because I know I have TikTok and Instagram, but. Uh, Facebook is uh, mostly like my local people, so. That's where you like kind of every run Saturday we that. do like a small business Saturday where we bring in like a local vendor in here. So I normally post it on Facebook. I don't really post it on TikTok because it's more of like a local thing. So I keep my yeah. like Facebook as like a local crowd and like my TikTok is like, you know, the world. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which it is. It is the world. Um so where I mean I'm trying we have Ohio listeners too. So where is your mm-hmm. storefront if anyone wanted to go check you out there? So, okay. So let me, um, so if you know where Columbus is, you just mm-hmm. take, I it's, I think it's 32. It could be, it's either 32 or 35. It's one of them. You take that like an hour and 20 minutes south. Mm-hmm. We're like 45 minutes below chill and coffee. We're like where 32 and 35 cross. So I know you guys probably don't know what that is, but that's like <laughs> oh, sort of names. Southeastern Ohio. It's like close to like Athens and Hawking Hills and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys Okay. Know You're like, about. you Google the address on my website. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you get here. <laughs> so first hand into the fucking country and you'll you might run into us. <laughs> You know what you do? You email me and tell me what your order is, and I send it. Like it is hot. <laughs> everything. Is hot. I love that. Um, and then so your social media, Leo Jude Soap Co. Leo. Yeah. Um, that's where you guys can find her and see all of this stuff, and not only see it, literally buy it all and want it all, <laughs> and show your children. Let them have your phone and scroll through it all so that they can make their own little shopping list because that's what my child did. <laughs> she is ready. Um, but I am I love it. I'm very happy with what I've had so far. Again, the I'm very jealous that my boobs are not pumping out milk right now because <laughs> I would be your customer at the moment. Um, <laughs> and I'm not having kids, so that's not happening. Rachel, well, I mean, we've talked about this. Bar here. We still have bars you can buy exactly. with somebody else. I'm like, I'll buy, I'll buy the breast milk soap that I will yeah. be br- buying that in my order as well. <laughs> but I do, I do feel some sort of way that it's not mine. Like I will still take yours, hers, all of theirs. Yeah. All of it because I love it. But I, I do, I feel salty. Like, why do I feel so salty that I can't do this? <laughs> I legit have, so I use, so I just stopped, right? My baby just turned one, so I just stopped. And I use, like, every single drop, except I still have two bags that had cracked in the freezer. So I couldn't use them. I don't think it comes with, I don't think it's 18 ounces, but I'm so glad that you said that you can, like, fill the rest with, like, coconut milk, because I love that. 
So I think I'm going to do that. And Rachel, I, I mean, I can bless you with my, my breast milk. I'll, I'll be there. For you. Yes. <laughs> I'll take your breast milk. I'll take whoever's like I said. <laughs> it's so funny because I, I had a friend who she, um, she had her son maybe about a year before I had my first daughter and she was talking about him getting this rash and I was like, girl, put some breast milk on it. Like put some breast right. milk on it. She goes, I'm out. I'm out. Give me some of yours. And she literally like did this towards my boobs. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I will, I can bring you a bag. Like I will do that for you. <laughs> I love that. I love that. It'll happen. Yes, you can share yours with me, Heather. I would okay. appreciate so that. Until. Taylor, before we wrap up anything, would you like to give a tour? Do you want to show off the shop and yeah, we can post that as well? Yay. Yeah, I would love to. Heck yeah. Okay, let's, see. let's walk you guys around. Okay, so let me. Oh my God. This is my first so scrub cute. show. These are all by the scrubs. So hold on. Right here is our cleaning sta cleaner station. So it's like a refillable station. So it's like eco-friendly. Cool. Bring your own container and you can like fill up your cleaner. Yeah. That is so cool. These are all of our soap. Um, this is a, a Leo Judith and all, but like this is where people can like take selfies in the store. Or yeah. So cute. I love that little um, drop. This is all of our breast milk soaps. Our lotion bar table, the tab back here. People pick up their orders. That's um, so cute. That is adorable. I know. <laughs> um, here's all of our like skincare, toothpaste, um, loofahs, deodorants, and all of our merchandise. Um, that here's that shirt. Like, I like my people. Like, I like my soap, non toxic. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And like our mint selection, and then yeah, this is like random stuff and like stickers and like like buy soap, not yeah. dope. Yes, <laughs> like all this stuff. We're close tonight, but we have a bunch of stuff in here. So yeah, I that's pretty love much it. So I love cute. It. Yes. Love it. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. Awesome. Thanks excited. for having me. Yes, we sure. we were excited. I was excited. I'm it's you know, I'm not shy. I'm obsessed with you. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> here my <laughs> so, so here we are. <laughs> it's funny, I don't hold back. I just do what I want and yeah. here we are. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for sharing that with everyone and also just Kind of, I mean, you said it where you, you didn't know where you were going. You yeah. wanted to create something. You didn't know how, you didn't know when, but you manifested it. And that word, that's yeah. important. And you, you're here yeah. and you're doing that. And not only is it right now, it's, it's growing and that's yeah. big. Yeah. And I, I yeah. wish nothing but the best and just more. Thank you. More money, like, <laughs> like I'm right, I'm I'm girl. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> um, but it's exciting, and thank you so much for sharing with us and letting us share this to our listeners so that they can yeah. be exposed to your products, but also just the breast milk, the everything, because it's exciting. And not only that, but a, a mom who's out there making a difference and doing something to, yeah, to better yourself to better your children's life like everything that is a big deal and that is exactly what we're doing as mothers yeah. and yes. it's huge and it's beautiful it's amazing and i love it i don't know so. if you've seen but like our kind of thing is the good the badass and the crime and you're definitely fitting you, in like two of the three you've got the yeah. good you've got the <laughs> badass so we really we love hitting multiple <laughs> Off of there, yeah, so it's super awesome, and your story is just super inspirational. Like you said, you know, you just knew it was going to happen, and that's so great to know. And it's it's super inspirational for any woman out there, and then especially a mom with young kids. Yeah. There's a lot of things that seem uh, unattainable um, when yeah. you're when you're having when you have young kids. There's so much going on, so. But you are just such an inspiration. You put your mind to it. You said, this is something that I like. This is something I want to do. And you built your, you're building your empire. Woman, yes, and, that you've, empire. and you've got it going. And that's just so great 
um, th thank you for letting us share that story with people because yeah. that's um, a lot of moms need to hear, you know, that you may yeah. think that, you know, you're, you know, maybe yeah. you don't have, but you, you can do it. <laughs> so like, yeah, that's awesome. You know, you need to know what you want to do. Just know that something big is for you. There right. You go. Love and you it. Just keep working Love that. Until, until you can't. I think the other thing about all of that too is not only did you do that and succeed through that, you did that turn like during a time that most people felt defeated and felt yeah. like the world was against them. And you were like, guess what world? You're my bitch. <laughs> I'm going to let you, let you see me. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I had already felt like I had been living through the pandemic because I had already come back to, like, this small town. And I'm like, oh, yeah. it's so boring. I had been in a pandemic, like, way yeah. before y'all. <laughs> like, oh, my God. You were like, no, I already lived that, so I was thriving. <laughs> we're here. I was like, that is so different, so slow paced. I was like, well. <laughs> that is That's great. so funny. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And, Taylor, you're amazing. I love having you here. That's no, great. So and. When you own 10 stores and when those big wigs reach out to you and you're creating all these other things, we're going to reach out again and you yeah. need to talk to us more. And you'll okay. update us. <laughs> okay. I'll be down. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I, when you come on, I will also be drinking Ace. I was going to say, we'll all have the Ace and we'll yes. be, it will be perfect. Bring your Aces. We're going to be I want it. Now I want it. You know I what? Know. And I have not seen that. I don't remember seeing that at like the, I have like a liquor world. Literally, my neighbor is the liquor world. <laughs> my daughter <laughs> says, that's your second home, mom. I'm like, hey, <laughs> shut up. Uh, <laughs> but I'm like, I need to go and see if like, they even have that there. The town is so small that only one gas station sells aces. Oh, and no. sometimes <laughs> I will like buy them out of aces. They'll be like, yeah, you bought them all. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I know I bought them I all, so that. now restock them. <laughs> They like <laughs> They see you walking into the store and they're like, better order some more. <laughs> I go to the drive thru and they just are like, here, lady. Yeah. She's, she's I back. I love that. She's back. <laughs> oh my it's the eighth lady. <laughs> that is so They funny. really do. I'm not kidding. It is so funny. That is the I love best. That so it's much. It's good to be known for that. I mean, Heck here yeah. we are. I'm the cab sob girl, but. <laughs> whatever and then when I went to pick up the wine today they actually I went through the drive through and they said oh we don't have that I said okay I'll come inside I literally walked inside the store in my slippers in my jammies because I was driving through I didn't think I had to get out of the car you know I'm walking in the store and she goes just kidding yeah I found it I'm like yeah oh, you no. found it because I knew it was in there and you just didn't know what you were looking for like I know I know your yeah. store better than you know your store because this is my second home. <laughs> my kid is like, Mom, calm down. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. All of it's fine. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You, you guys, so go check her out. Go yes. add her on everything social media-wise, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, <laughs> which I'm going to go do right now. And buy her stuff. Try it out. See how it is because it's important not only – is it awesome and beautiful and the cutest thing ever? It's good for you. Yeah. It's stuff that's actually good for your body. And that's important. And I know a lot of people that are trying to live this non-toxic life. Yeah. <laughs> Not only people, literally products. Get yeah. there. Do that. So yeah. I'm obsessed. And thank you. It was only a matter of time. I was going to keep bothering you until you were here, by the way. I was <laughs> you like, really you're coming up. <laughs> I kind of backed out a couple of times and you would not let me out. I said, you're coming. <laughs> when I said I was obsessed, I said I was obsessed. She manifested this happening. That's what went me off. <laughs> I know joke, right? Anyone. Anyone I want to talk to, which is... It's not, it's not been like everyone. I don't just go writing everyone, but anyone that I want to yeah. talk to, I reach out. And that, that yeah. is, and it's funny, the amount of people that we've had that I didn't think that I was going to get the opportunity to talk to or people didn't maybe, you know, whatever. But it's really funny. Yeah. I told Heather the other day, I said, I wrote Hillary Duff the other day. <laughs> I said, I wrote her and I said, you want to come on my podcast? <laughs> I love it. She I love you it. did what? And I said, I like 
you. You want to be on? <laughs> she used so blah bad chat. Let me tell you this story really quick because it's hilarious. I forget what it was. It was some. It was some episode we did about, like, parenting and, like, maybe, like, it was, like, the crazy things your kids have done or something, and we were use we had found some good, hilarious, like, celebrity stories, and so yeah. um, we were saying things like, oh, thanks, uh, like, thanks so-and-so for being on the podcast and sharing your story, <laughs> even though it was, like, one we had gotten offline or whatever, and yeah. then she literally, like, screenshots and sends me the next day, she's like, I wrote Hillary. I'm going to see if she wants to be on a podcast. <laughs> Put it out. Go Put it out there, girl. Do it. Yeah. This is who I am. That is so funny. When I want something, I want something. And that it's going to keep happening. I love it. Here we are. Yeah, I love here we are. it. And that's why you're here with us. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> we'll let you go. We'll let you get to that. You'll see my name very soon when I put my next order in. And... Again, thank you. We've said it a hundred times. And yes. everyone, go check her out. <laughs> You're awesome. I'm even more excited because I was like, obviously, I hadn't talked to you like yeah. in person, person yet. But I'm like, oh, my God, now I love you even more. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much. I am very excited. Everyone, you guys are going to be equally as obsessed with her. So, you'll see. You'll see. Go check it out. And we will talk to you guys next time on Wine Time. But... Taylor, thank you. We thank will, you, Taylor. We will see you on social media, and okay. we'll talk to you next time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>you guys, for real, for real. At the beginning of this, I talked about how much I liked her, and now I want to emphasize how much I like her. How much I like what she's doing. How much you guys need to support her. Be in her corner and just hype her up. Because when you meet a queen, you hype up the queen. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Um, it's important. It's amazing. And thank you so much, Taylor, for joining us and being a yes. part of this. And sharing everything you shared with us. I loved every second. Heather... Also loved every I'm second. Just like, I was waiting for I'm, you to be like, I'm me too. literally <laughs> waiting to get off of this so I can go grab my breast milk, the like little bit I have left in the freezer, and mail it right now. <laughs> I love that. Do it. Do it, you guys. That it. I can't wait to hear how you feel about it and all of that. There's so many perks, positives, all of it. Yeah. It's amazing. Zach's and... gonna be like because I literally, I literally. And I'm pretty sure I told this during the breastfeeding episode, but any small little thing with any of these girls, oh, let me just put some breast milk on it. Oh, let me just yeah. put some breast milk on it. And literally, like, I would just whip out my boob, pour a little onto my finger. Sorry if this is TMI for you people. You it's guys not, should know by now. It's I would not. squirt some onto my finger and be like, oh, it's there's diaper rash? Squirt, squirt. Rub it on there. Oh, yeah. she has, like, a little bit of eczema on her elbow? Squirt, squirt. Like, rub it on there. Yeah. But it was so easy when it's, like, readily available. Now it's, like, in a freezer. But to know that I can turn it into yes. those little things, they're so They're perfect. the cutest. They're yeah. so cute. And to know that I can just keep that and have that, it's just, I love it. It makes me really yeah. happy. So I can't wait to do that. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. She's doing it. Anyone else out there, you guys that are listening, if you are breastfeeding, if you have breast milk, if that is something that you are... If that's your journey, look into this, you know, yeah. maybe you're like, eh, I don't know. Look into it. It's not going to hurt you. Even it's if going you're not into the breast milk, all of her other products are so For sure. amazing. A thousand They're percent. awesome. Yeah. And you will see, it's really funny. I, I meant to tell her and I forgot, so whatever, but, um, she had just posted a video about her. She just made the soap for Valentine's Day and... It was really funny because she was like, oh, like it didn't come out like what I guess she had expected, right? Like mm -hmm. she had this this vision and in her post, in her video, it wasn't what she was thinking it was going to be. And I'm still over here like, and it's still the cutest thing ever. I want it. <laughs> you know? And so I'm just like, I love everything. Um, Go check her out. Do that. 
and we will talk to you guys next week. I don't even Yes. We will continue to bring you the good, the badass, like Taylor, and the crime. And yeah. next week, um, we'll have even more for you. Until then, yeah. you guys know where to find us at that wine underscore time underscore pod on TikTok and Instagram. Yes. Or, you know, email us, winetimemoms at gmail.com. And yes. we mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it again. Check out our Patreon. It's, yes. um, we, we are been running on there. We've got a couple videos now and, um, Rachel and I are really getting into it because as much as we love mom topics, we have, we like to talk about a lot of things, <laughs> not all we mom do. stuff. So we have... <laughs> We have some fun stuff on there. Yeah. Um, so if you guys love the crime, yeah, check it out. And then yep. we will tell you. And we're going to have other stuff, not just crime on there. So um, yeah. check it out. Let us. Wine time uh, uncensored, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be Become crazy. a wine time bestie. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. My little wine. Fuck it, besties. All right. We will talk to you guys next week. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, share us with all your friends, family, your enemies especially your enemies and <laughs> the person that puts the carts back at the grocery stores just go tell them that would be great and we're gonna <laughs> have a fucking die right that now. is the most random <laughs> okay. i don't know why that came to my brain <laughs> but you guys just all share with everyone. Just imagining somebody walking up to the person who's trying to push like 50 carts and he goes have you heard of flying time <laughs> This podcast is about inclusion, so I'm trying to include everybody, including them, okay? Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, we will talk to you guys next week. Until then, have the best week ever, and I'm obsessed with you guys, too, just like I am with Taylor. And love you guys. I will talk to you guys on Tuesday. Okay, I love you. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs>